Alright, what is up you guys? And of course always, welcome back to another video from your truly, The Scarander. Now a bit of a um, disclaimer here. Um, I have nothing personal against A-Drive or Dan. Uh, hence, if you want to use this video to slander A-Drive, this is not it. Um, this is me talking about something he said, and while it could backfire on him even though his course is good, because it is. And also a small eye infection, I think you guys see it on my red eye here, on you know, my right side I might be very well your left. Um, kids, <laughs> basically, get sick of everything. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to cover today is something that Adrian posted yesterday, and it was um, that he wanted to respectfully reach out to the developer of Pokemon Sword and Shield, um, for a free glitches that are in the game. Two of them I can cover as I feel they are relevant for different reasons. First one being if you're not hosting a VGC game or a doubles battle, your sucker punch if you just one versus one left will not work versus the hosted um, Wi-Fi battler. Um, it's a super decisive glitch for Pokemon such as Bishop and Grimmsnarl who are effectively like good sucker punchers. Um, that's what they do. So them being nerfed like that is real unfortunate, and yeah, of course that needs to be fixed. Uh, the other one being that there are a set chance of shiny happening. Um, uh, I couldn't go into more detail what that means, but basically it means that the shiny community has an issue where there is a glitch <coughs> that makes the, their shiny hunting less efficient. Um, and Dan is of course a shiny hunter, yes he does have Wi-Fi battlers and yes he is in leagues, but in the core of things he's a shiny hunter, so of course that affecting him quite a lot. Um, so like I said, it's a good cause, I like it, I think more sh should have done it a month ago. Um, so I kind of want to personally thank every apologist to actually say, in, or even reviewers that acted like the game was without flaws. You guys hindered the progress of this game by one month, at least. You're personally responsible for that. I'm, I'm just saying, that is the black and white of this dialogue. It really is. Um, and while not everybody is involved with it, I kind of feel that people that have defending the game from the get-go are at fault for not making stuff like this work. So I think it's great that A-Drive at least take that chance of actually trying to reach out. Now, the issues. A-Drive was very, very defensive himself about Sword and Shield. He is... Probably the person who created that, if you don't like it, don't buy a dialogue, uh, or at least he spread it. Um, I got the counter argument for myself quite a lot, and it doesn't make any sense. I've been very firm with that in another video that if you want the game to be good, you need to play it to ex experience the flaws, and if you experience some flaws before the game, they should be called out for. Um, pop up, for example, the, the dropped in frames. There were issues in the leaks that were um, ignored um, as, yeah, well, that's the game, take it for what it is. Um, and, and that's the issue I take with it, is, as I think those flaws should have been called up upon, both by reviewers and pocket tubers with influence, um, that these are things to talk about. It's, it, it isn't game-breaking, I still enjoy Pokemon a lot myself with these flaws, but I won't ignore them. I think acting ignorant to flaws is very, very dumbfolded and it could lead to what is created here, that when eventually a person with influence talking about issues he feels, he or he, she really feels about the game, the response will be, well, you said this two months ago. And they should come up as that. I think being hypocritical and having a double standard is kind of dangerous. Now, if Dan would acknowledge that he said stuff like that, but said, well, I feel this are more something that has developed throughout time, it would have been better. Um, I actually think if he owned up to his opinion, it would have been better. Instead, we got a pretty nasty discussion, I think very, very mature in many ways. Now, I won't call out the pocket tubers besides that, but there were pocket tubers saying, well, his criticism, criticism is a valid criticism. So, we are defining now the people without influence aren't having valid criticism. That, I'm sorry, but from developer, you are one consumer like everybody else. Influence or not, you are a money bag to them and you need to acknowledge that. 
um, the sub count or the way of influence off don't matter. Um, the second you get in contact with that, the easier this dialogue becomes. I'm sorry to say it, but that's how it works. And that is how it has to work. My opinions are as valid as yours. Even though I didn't get involved, I still feel that ignoring other people's opinion and agenda for, well, what I'm saying is better because I waited the game to come out or whatever. It's, it's super ignorant and very, very disrespectful. And more so to your community, I feel. Pokemon community are something that we should hold together and we've been split since this game came out. And I feel feel that once when we are on the same page on something, we're still gonna redefine it as some opinions are better than other. It's it's not a good look. And honestly, it's like I said, very mature. And I don't expect this type of dialogue for people over twenty to have. I, I get that kids have that dialogue, that you know, they aren't a bigger or broader narrative, I get that. But you know, in your twenties you things should be kind of been put together already and you should be much more, more respectful for your opinions and how you want to acknowledge them. Uh, own up for them, if anything. The other one, and this is something Dan did that I feel is, mm, you don't do that. Instead of responding to dialogues, when he felt somebody was out of line or called him out something that he did, he decided to retweet it as, look at this guy, look what he said. <sighs> Creating some type of mobbing don't do that, don't be that guy. It's... It becomes really bad as you're just personally attacking somebody instead of actually responding properly to it. Like I said, own up for the things you say. I don't believe, <laughs> honestly, that anyone needs to be personally attacked by the... What do you call it? The Adra Army. <laughs> for opinion. Look. Somebody called you out on that you said something before the game comes out, and now you're saying something isn't good. Say why. Explain why your reasoning is different. I'm, I would be all behind that. Instead it becomes, well, this is my opinion now. I think I said before. Well, you gotta prove that I said it. You're, you're dumb. No, I'm reaching there. But quite frankly, it becomes something that you're pointing at some, somebody. This is what he said. Attack him. It becomes that. You have that influence don't be that guy don't be a person who try to minimize critique when you can absolutely own up to them i think you gain more for it hell it's super important to be receptive of what is good or bad critique but when it's critique versus you you need to re respond to it in the same way you try to be respectful towards your the developer's argument that has to apply to you, you too and um, yeah of course like i said you'll be called up of things you say before um, look, the game had issues at, at the game when the game came out, um, and they weren't game breaking, but there were issues. I, for example, tried to. Actually, this is my only flaw with the game: versus recorder and timer. Those two aspects is for me super decisive and should have been talked about from the get-go. Instead, that was kind of just dimmed down as. People who were complaining about it didn't get a leader room for it. Um, people who are Pocketubers by postcom are no longer able to pull that off, and that is super unfortunate. And I feel it's why was that not reached upon? That was something experienced day one, but nope, didn't get attraction at all. And um, now that the game is roughly two months old. Um, yes, there will be changes and fixes to the game, but. We had an honest chance of making something huge happen day one of the flaws we saw in the game. But instead, we were playing in ignorant just to have a following base? Or what was the point? I actually want to know, what was the point of ignore issues with the game to try to hold up some type of leverage? Um, did it gain you more money, more traction? Did you become a real Pokemon fan? I want to know. I have no idea why one would be ignoring issues with the game in contrast of saying somebody else is wrong or if you know if you don't want if you don't like what you see don't buy it it's a flawed aspect and it could very well have ruined the game now i'm happy that this development did happen i won't say it's too late but i feel it's ignorant to ignore what has been done before and to own up for the things you have said honestly that goes for everyone like not only that like if you have a different of opinion or change your opinion own it and Tell them why. I think the why is more important. 
um, than anything. Like you can change your opinion. People do that. It's not a it's not a weird thing to do. <laughs> but instead, no, we are acting like what I said now are more valid criticism that was said before, and that is minimizing other people's opinion. And you don't own to decide that. You don't do that. It's it's super ignorant to do that. So yeah, that's my take on it. Like I said, don't use this to personally attack A Drive, as I believe his influence in the Pokemon community are important. I just feel like I said it's unfortunate when it turns out that you know you want to minimize what you said before. I think I think it's a very ignorant thing to do, and more so when you have a fan base to shift momentum and actually do this as something positive instead of actually becoming. What is there, more or less another drama in a Pokemon community that just couldn't get enough of them clearly in it right now, right? So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, take care.